remember I gave you a warning. I said, you guys, be careful. If we want, if you want Peter Obi, better come in on the ground, not on Twitter. The man himself come from there. So I thought today, let me make it clear, because, because everything is from the north now. At least I was right, there is a force coming from the north. So the political part that is there, put a man in there, who is, I think, from the south, or from another location, but the political part is from the north. Then the man from the north is also there. So we have time. To deal with that. Have you not seen the people who... Who, who are those? Those people from... Who? who? Atiko Tinubi? The ones that came here? Oh, it's from Atiko's people. They were there. They came here. Another one came to the house. And gave me... What, what, bottles of perfume. And he had, a, he had his bag there. They brought him from the airport. Flew in. Private jet. Arrived with his bag. And barrage of perfumes. I said, I have a seat for you. God said, don't receive it. I said, what is it? He said, okay, take it. But when you take it, check the bag as well. His bag. And give the guys. Yeah, yeah. I said, you're not sleeping here, sir. You're going back. As he was going with his cars and people were going, I said, you will not become President Disney. If you think I need bags and bags of perfumes to make you president, how can Cologne be a motivator for... <laughs> Le prophète est en train de parler des élections qui vont bientôt arriver, que ce soit au Nigeria ou au Kenya. Il parle de comment est-ce qu'il a prophétisé déjà des personnes qui vont déjà gagner bien auparavant. Smelling so far for the Lord. <laughs> the reality is, it's not the amount. It's what you're thinking. Did, did that take us people and bring anything? It's not like they bring money, they brought money. No. They just came here, look. I'm coming from this place. And look, this is, you know, he wants to do right and blah, blah, blah. That's what they, they say. I'm not saying it's Atiku. I'm not saying it's Tinubu. I will say it later. You keep watching. So don't move around. He said Atiku, he said Tinubu. No. Now the perfume one is another perfume guy. La personne avec les boîtes de parfum qui est venue pour essayer de convaincre le prophète de... Imagine when the Lord has already chosen you. And you play with your opportunity. God just wanted you to talk about what you were going to do for God's people. Full stop. And don't disturb it by putting out some funny thing that you want to make it the motivator for God. No. Better not give any seed. Just come and say, my seed will be to take care of God's people, to put them ahead. C'est mieux de ne pas donner de front ou quoi que d'autre pour, pour essayer de, de gagner les, les élections. Juste promet à Dieu de prendre soin de son peuple. <laughs> I was about to say, shout something. I will say it later. On. Remind me, please, for them to shout something. And when you shout that name, it is going to be done. Shout the name of Jesus. Say the name of Jesus. But that's not the name I want you to shout. You will shout later. Glory be to God. Let me tell you something. Nigeria is the cradle for Christianity. You might not understand this. I just said in the spirit realm. Right now, you look at the largest number 
of real powerful Christians, Nigeria. The largest church on earth, Nigeria. The largest building, church building, Nigeria. The number of rising apostles who are causing shifts, Nigeria. I don't care where you come from. There are points where you need to say this country God is using. Put your pride down. Nigeria is being used by God right now. The way you are clapping here, may God help you. This amount of jealousy is very dangerous. God is strictly using Nigeria. Is he using other nations? Yes. But you can't have the amount of impact Nigeria had, the head on Christianity. In the amount of heaven it's written, Nigeria. The Babalolas, the 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 Itahosas, the Oyetepos, the Adepoyas, the of course the magnificent Pastor Chris. Uh, the Kumoyis. The Kumoyis. They all hail from Nigeria. The new breed of apostles, Nigeria. There is a certain grace that is God has put on Nigeria that the political systems of Nigeria then have to be chosen by God. Are you hearing me now? They have to be chosen by God. That's why the election of in Nigeria is of great importance. It's of paramount importance. That's why God speaks about it. And we are going to mention it. So you know. We are going to mention it. So you get ready for who is going to win. Very simple. See, why did I take time? I took time because I said something, right? And then, and then, because I never bother to ask God, what do you mean by this? Until I realized this party comes from this, the man comes from there as well. And I said, okay. So that means now we've gotten two. So God was giving us two of the people that will fight this thing. And we got them. Then we moved to another stage now. We are going now to really say this one, specifically by name, because we can't do it without name now. There are only two. It's no longer parables and anything. It's two. We're going to do it. All right? Why is it that we do this thing? Sometimes, let me tell you why many ministers are getting this wrong. They don't know the prophetic. The Bible says if there is a city or a nation and it does right before my eyes, I will do right by keeping what I said to that city or that nation. But if the nation turns to evil, I will repent from the good I want to do for that nation. Do you know what that means? That means prophecies are never direct or cemented until God says, this is it. Remember the Bible says, the sins of the Amorites have not come to completion. That means there is a time when the climax of sins is reached. Where God says, that's okay. Now we are not changing even after things are done right. We are not changing. So all this time, God could have changed the winner. Remember, I gave you a warning. I said, you guys, be careful. If we want, if you want Peter Obi, better campaign on the ground, not on Twitter. What was God saying there? God was saying, I might want him to be there. But people have not matured enough to get him there. And even if I want him to be, Christians are not maturing enough to say, okay, let's lose, choose our own. But remember, he also said one point. That choosing your own doesn't mean to say they will do right. Because it is not by mind, nor by power, not even by association. It is by my spirit. That's why politicians that are chosen who are Christians, when they go up, they forget being Christians. Because it is not by power. It is by my spirit. So they go there as Christians. 
but they don't have the spirit of the Lord to do what the Lord wants. So you might, God might want Peter Obi, might want your favorite uh, <laughs> Jesus, we have Nigerians here. And the problem then becomes what do we do now with God now? Since this is the case, what do we do? So if you hurriedly say it and God and maybe this one, Tinubu, Atiku, Obi, or whatever that person is, changes what happens with god god doesn't say since my prophet has already said prematurely i will support my prophet no he follows his agenda because the person that he wanted has now changed and shifted now he follows what he said i will also change from the things that i said and then put him in charge when you have already said he's not going to be so be patient relax don't rush Somebody I know who was prophetic, very, very powerful, is going to be home to be the Lord. He literally said Hillary Clinton was going to win elections. He was wrong. But was he wrong? No, he spoke way fast. Did Hillary Clinton win the election? Yes. He got more votes. But did he become president? She became president? No. So did he get the correct prophecy right? Yes. She won. More votes. But uh, America, they look at college votes. No, no, not, not college university, no. <laughs> so then, what then happens is, he saw the correct thing, but didn't bother to go on and ask, what do you mean by winning? He should have waited. That's what the prophet said. I looked and I saw an animal come out. And I looked again and I saw a one growing. And I looked again and I saw, if he had looked once, he would have been lost. So you need to keep on looking, keep on looking, keep on looking, keep on looking. Now, I'm going to do a live, I'm going to do a live just to talk about Nigeria. So that you don't confuse it. You will see. Thank you on the beat.